Good evening. How are you? Buenas noches. Welcome to the class, to the virtual class. Good evening, Tatiana, Carla, and Mercy. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Thank you for Good being evening, early. Teacher. Gracias por estar temprano. Uh, we are going to wait a couple of minutes because we need the rest to be present. Just as a reminder, remember that we are about to finish the course. Tomorrow is the last class. So you see the time has passed really fast. So we are going to um, remember to complete the platform and the final activities over there in the platform. So you won't have any problem with your diploma, right? Also check your name. If it is uh, well written on your diploma, revisen los nombres si ya tienen su diploma o cuando ya lo descarguen o les llegue, miren que esté bien escrito su nombre y que toda la información esté correcta. Así okay. que este, we are going just to review a little bit of what we did yesterday. And after that, we are going to do different activities. We have a listening practice. We have also the grammar explanation for models. So if you have any question about models, we are going to solve it. We can use also the, the meanings, right? Like the, the we are going to check vocabulary, new, new, new vocabulary. And if you have any doubt about that usage, we are going to check it today. So good evening, Jaime. Uh, how are you? How was your day today, Jaime? You're, you're, you're a mute, Jaime. <laughs> you're a mute. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. Now you're using your computer again, right? Oh yes. The to, today I turn out early because oh. because uh, my PC is uh, no no no. <laughs> What's not working? Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, yesterday you were with your phone, right? In my, in my phone, yes. Yes, okay, very Actually, good. My, my PC, yeah. And now in your PC, very good. Now uh, we're about to uh, begin the class. Uh, probably uh, other classmates, they have problems with rain, problems con la lluvia, con conexión, electricity, issues. So uh, we are going to begin right now. Good evening, Noe. Um, let me share my screen right now. So we are going to begin with the activities, right? Good evening. Um, now we are going to uh, practice the models, right? Yesterday we had the activity to plan a trip. We use going to, we use will, and we use different uh, vocabulary, right? So uh, for example, when we were planning our trips, we were uh, talking about, we were talking about different things to do, like how to get there, what we were going to do, what we were going to, to use to get there. So we had different vocabulary. Now we are going to review that vocabulary and we are going to get more of it. Now, for example, I will show you here these questions and also the images. It says, how do you prepare for traveling? That's what we were doing before, right? Yesterday, what kind of clothing do you use? in a trip. So for example, we have hiking boots, right? To go hiking, we use hiking boots. Go hiking is like walking on or climbing a mountain, right? Caminar ahí por la montaña o senderos, that is go hiking. Sandals, we use it to go to the beach, right? Sandals and a swimsuit, swimsuit, right? So that's what we use um, to go to the beach. We have more vocabulary also. Uh, if we need to pay for something, we use an ATM card, right? ATM card and cash, right? Money. We use cash also or the ATM card in an ATM machine. Also, if we get sick, we can use a first aid kit. What does it mean, first aid kit? Ajá, primeros auxilios o un botiquín, ¿verdad? Eh, medication, medicamentos, and vaccination. What does it mean, vaccination? ¿Qué es vaccination? Inyección. 
inyección, right? una vacunación. Now, if you want to travel abroad, por ejemplo, si queremos salir del país o si queremos salir de, uh, a, a pasear a otras partes, they ask us to vaccinate, right? Nos piden que nos vacunemos. Vaccinate again against COVID. Uh, you need a vaccine against monkeypox. That is a new virus that is spreading around the world. So we have a lot of viruses. So you need to get vaccinated. Also, we have passport, right? If you're going to travel abroad, you need a passport. You need a plane ticket if you are going to go by plane. And you need a travel insurance. What is a travel insurance? ¿Qué significa Era travel insurance? Como el itinerario. Travel insurance? Tarjeta mm médica. -hmm. Dicen el itinerario y dice el travel insurance, ¿qué es? Tarjeta médica. Tarjeta médica. Ok, ¿es a uh, medical card? Travel insurance. What does it mean insurance? Es seguro de viaje. Seguro, de, seguro. de viaje. Very good, seguro de viaje. For example, they, some people, they, when they sell you the plane ticket, they, they tell you, right, ah, we have an insurance a travel insurance, you have to buy it, right? Because it's good for you if you get sick, if something happens to you, you can go to the doctor, right? So in case of that, you have to pay extra. Tienen que pagar extra para el travel insurance. So es seguro de viaje. Next one is backpack, right? The backpack, the one that we use on the back, backpack, the carry-on bag. How do you say carry-on bag in Spanish? Maleta. Maleta, ajá, maleta de mano. Very good. And the carry-on bag is the one that we can put inside of the plane, right? If we travel by, by plane, we take the carry-on bag and we put it inside of it, right? And we have the suitcase. Suitcase is the, the biggest one, right? The big one. All of it, the backpack, the carry-on bag, and the suitcase, they are luggage. All of, all of that is luggage, right? So... Equipaje, exactly, luggage. Also, uh, so we have this vocabulary and also we have recommendations. For example, if you are going to travel, we can uh, provide like some advice for people, right? For example, we have here, the first one, you must have a valid passport to travel overseas. You ought to make a copy of your passport and keep it in a secure place. What is this telling us? That we have to make a copy of your passport for your security, right? The next one is, you should try some of the local specialties. ¿Qué son specialties? Local specialties. What is a local specialty? For example, if I ask you, um, Noé, uh, can you tell me what are the local specialties in your country? What is that? Uh, the central oh, historic. Oh, oh. <laughs> Specialties local, like especialidades, local. right? Especialidades, pero de comer, verdad? Local specialties. Las especialidades locales, like that would be like pupusas, tamales, atol de lote. So that would be local specialties. But you better avoid the stalls. What are stalls? Uh -huh. Son como los puestos, ¿verdad? Que hay en las calles. Hay puestos de pupusas, puestos en la calle. So, dice que avoid, evitar. You have to avoid the stalls on the street. You shouldn't drink tap water. What is tap water? No debemos de beber tap water, dice ahí. Tap water is agua del grifo, ¿verdad? Agua del grifo. So some people uh, might uh, tell you that if you travel to one country, for example, India, or I don't know, right? And if the water is contaminated, you shouldn't drink tap water, okay? Also, you better buy travel insurance before you leave your country. That's another recommendation, right? You better buy travel insurance before you leave your country. Another one is when you fly, you should keep important things in your carry-on bag, such as your medication, ATM card, and you shouldn't pack them in your checked luggage. 
Todas las cosas importantes tienen que ir en el carry on bag. Dice aquí esta recomendación, ¿verdad? And it says here, in most countries, you don't have to have an international driver's license, but you have to carry a license from your own country. You also need to be 21 or over. So necesitamos una licencia de conducir, pero puede ser de nuestro país, ¿verdad? And the other one is you better keep a copy of your credit card numbers at the hotel and you shouldn't carry a lot of cash when you go out. So that will be the recommendations. Okay, questions, preguntas acerca de estas recomendaciones, alguna palabra que no entiendan? Must, teacher. Must. 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 M-U-S-T or most. M-O-S-T. It's in the second Ah, uh, the second, most. Okay. For mm -hmm. example, it says here in most countries, en la mayoría de países, right? In most countries. So most is como la mayoría. Thank you. Okay. Another question? Or everything's clear? You understand everything, right? Okay. Very good. Now, we are going to talk about models today, right? Do you know what models are? ¿Saben qué son los models? Can somebody give me examples about that or no? Yeah, teacher. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, some possibilities. Uh, este, because uh, when, when, is necess, is, when are necessary, uh, for example, for students. Como show, can, may, me. Exactly. There are different words, right? To suggest something, sugerencias, right? Mm -hmm. That we can use, or also things that we have to do, right? So this is like, uh, this is like the concept that we have investigated. Also, si ya vieron la plataforma, también ahí les explican más o menos qué son los models, ¿verdad? It says, models, these models are used to express an action. Is necessary or to give recommendation. Nos piden o nos dicen, nos usamos para alguna acción que es necesaria, que tenemos que hacer, o puede ser también una recomendación. For example, you should pack shorts sandals and t-shirts when you travel to Dominican Republic. Is that a recommendation or a, an, an obligation? Recommendation. A recommendation. recommendation. Exactly, a recommendation. So we can recommend people using should, right? The meaning of should in Spanish is debería, usted debería, ellos deberían, they should, nosotros deberíamos, we should, etc., right? Also, it says you must be 18 or over to vote in Dominican Republic. Debe de ser mayor de 18 años para votar en la Dominica, República Dominicana. Sorry. So, uh, that is a recommendation or an obligation? Obligation. An obligation, like here in El Salvador, right? You have to, you, you must be 18 or over, right? So we have these uh, two options, like is a necessity, like an, sorry, an obligation and a suggestion, una recomendación, una sugerencia, ¿verdad? suggestions. So necessity we use, sorry, we use most, we use need, and we use have to. So we use those models to say like something that you have to do, like an obligation. And for suggestions, we use had better, how to, or should, okay? No questions, right? Okay, now we're going to continue. We also uh, have structures, right? We always have structures like formulas. The formula for models is subject plus model plus verb plus complement. So we use the model and we use the verb. Usamos el, el verbo modal y el verbo normal, verdad, que está en infinitivo. For example, Salvadorans must have a visa to enter to the United States. 
that is an obligation, right? You need to get a license to drive a car. You have to show your passport at the airport. You don't need to pay for the carry-on back in some airlines. So that is, we can use it in negative also, negative statements and affirmative. En negativo y también en positivo lo podemos usar. And the same is with the models that we use for uh, suggestions, right? So for example, a subject plus model plus verb plus complement, and we have examples there. You'd better arrive at the airport two hours before your flight departs. You ought to use the subway when you travel to New York City. Or you should rent a car if you're going to visit lots of places in El Salvador, or you shouldn't walk alone late at night. So as we can see there, we can use uh, use them in negative. You should not, uh, you ought not to, or you'd better not, right? Let me see here. Now, do you have questions about this? What is the meaning of had better? ¿Qué significa had better? Este que está acá. Had better. Es mejor tener. Ajá, es mejor que, más vale que sería, ¿verdad? Más vale que lleguemos temprano, ¿verdad? Más vale que estemos a tiempo. For example, in this one is, the one is here, you'd better arrive. Más te vale llegar a las a dos horas antes de que tu vuelo eh, despegue, ¿verdad? Que se vaya. Entonces, eh, más vale hacer eso, ¿verdad? It's like a suggestion, right? It's, a, it's an expression. So we are going to... Uh, practice because if you don't have questions it, it seems that or it means that you don't have any doubt everything is clear just remember necessity and suggestions right i have uh, some sentences here we are going to to read them and you are going to choose if it is necessity or an obligation the first one number one it says you have to or had better make hotel reservations in advance it might be difficult to find a room after you get there so have to or had better have to, have to. Have to. Better. you have to have okay better. have to okay some people say have to some people say had better say so should better right so we are going to check it later number two you must or you should carry identification with you. It's the law. Must. must. You must. 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 Okay. Ah. So some people say must. Debe. Porque es la ley, ¿verdad? Es la ley. Mm -hmm. So yes. you must. Yes. Very good. Yes. Three. You must or you should buy a round trip plane ticket because should. it's cheaper. Should. Should, should, should right? Should. Yeah, should, it should. can be because it's a recommendation. Yeah. Number four you don't have or you shouldn't pack too many clothes you won't have room to bring back any gifts don't have to you don't, don't have, have to don't have to. you don't have to okay some people say don't have to okay don't very good to. let's see uh next one uh, number five next one number five you need to or you ought to check out of most hotel rooms by noon if you don't have to pay for another night, you need to or you ought to? Need to. Need to. to, yeah, can be possible because if you don't want to pay more, mm -hmm. you need to get out earlier, right? Tenemos que salir del hotel a las 12, entonces es algo que necesitamos hacer. Very good. You, number six, you have to or you ought to buy a new suitcase because your old one is getting shabby. How to? Have out to. to, out to, okay, very good, out to. What is the meaning of shabby? Who knows that? ¿Qué significa shabby? Como desgastado, ¿verdad? Algo que está desgastado en mal por estado. el tiempo, en mal estado, exactly. So it's a shabby suitcase. So that's the reason why you need a new one. Now we have the answers here. The first one is you'd better, right? You'd better make a hotel reservations in advance. It might be difficult to find a room after you, you get there. So this will be a recommendation. 
Number two was you must, right? Because it's the law. It's something that you have to do. Because if, if you don't have your identification, pro probably the police officer will take you to the prison, right? Probably or something else. Number three, you should buy a round trip plane ticket because it's cheaper. Deberías. So it's a recommendation, right? Number four, you shouldn't pack too many clothes. You shouldn't because it's a recommendation. It is up to you, right? You decide. If you want to do it, you can do it. If you don't want to, it's okay. Number five, you need to check out of most hotel rooms. So it's need to, right? As you were saying before. And six, number six is a recommendation, right? You ought to buy a new suitcase because your old one is getting shabby. So it's a recommendation. Very good. Next one. This is just like an explanation, right? Cuando vamos a usar must, have to, si lo podemos usar para preguntas, para negativos. So I will read it really fast because I know it's a lot of information. Yo sé que bastante letra y bastante información, pero vamos a tratarlo de hacer rápido, solo para medio explicar. Uses, dice, is uses of must and have to. We use must and have to to say that something is necessary or obligatory. Vaya, most lo vamos a usar para obligación, dice aquí, ¿verdad? For example, um, drivers and passengers have to wear seatbelts or drivers and passengers must wear seatbelts. Tienen que usar el cinturón de seguridad. So it's an obligation, obligatorio. Can I use questions? Yes. For example, do you have to have an international driver's license? Uh, so we can use uh, these expressions in questions. ¿De verdad tengo que tener una licencia de conducir internacional? ¿Tengo que tenerla? So do, I, do I have to have it? Yes, you have to, right? And the differences between must and have to is that um, we, mu we use must to talk about an obligation that we impose on other people. Eh, must es una obligación que imponemos a otra persona. Pero have to, the difference, it says here that have to is an obligation that is outside of our control. For example, you must go to the doctor or over there it says, I must go to the optician. Tengo que ir al doctor de los ojos, ¿verdad? I must go to the optician. So it's, it's something that you, you must do, right? But if I have an appointment with the optician at 11.30, it's already scheduled. So eso ya está fuera de mi control. Si yo, yo tengo que llegar a esa hora. So I have to, right? That is the difference, right? Es algo que ya está, que no es que yo decida, sino que ya está programado. Y también have to is something that we do regularly. For example, I have to wear glasses when I drive, right? Or Irving has to wear glasses when he drives. So it's something that happens regularly. And we use, uh, we use mustn't. This is negative. Ese es el negativo de must, ¿verdad? Mustn't or don't have to. Lo podemos también usar en negativo. We use mustn't to tell people not to do something, that something is wrong or against the law. Usually in the USA, you mustn't drive at more than 55 mi miles per hour. And we just don't have to, to say that there is no obligation to do something. He doesn't have to drive so slowly. Entonces, podemos decir algo que es prohibido con mustn't, que no se debe de hacer, o algo que no, no, no tiene que hacerlo, ¿verdad? He, you, he doesn't have to drive so slowly. Entonces, puede ir más rápido, ¿verdad? Y la última, ya terminamos con eh, la explicación. It says the main use of should and ought to. Estas son rec para recomendaciones, ¿verdad? We use should or ought to when we think something is the thing, the, the right thing to do. Cuando pensamos que algo es correcto, podemos usar should or ought to. Es para recomendaciones. People should pay to use the roads. La gente debería de pagar para, por usar los caminos. Or people ought to pay. And had better plus infinitive. Had better is uh, also to say that something is the right thing to do. I better go by car, right? Mejor me voy en carro. I better go by car. Uh, we use it with you, he, she, they, when we're giving advice or warning about the present or the immediate future. Es para dar consejos, ¿verdad? You better hurry. Mejor se apura, ¿verdad? You better hurry. So eso es lo podemos decir con modos. Questions? 
No questions, right? Okay, now we have understood the models. Ya entendimos los models. Ya entendimos el uso que es obligación o es una recomendación. Tomorrow we are going to have a speech practice. Vamos a tener uh, presentations, right? The last day you are going to give your presentation in English. So you are going to talk about a trip. Yes, uh, Gabriela Godoy, go ahead. Did you uh, have sorry. Uh -huh. uh, yes, um, I didn't understand the difference between show and have, have better. The another, uh, I understand that those um, is a little difficult to identify. What is the difference? When we, we can use one or, or the another one? Um, actually, you can use it uh, oh, vamos a, a dejarlo más fácil, right? To identify it or to know when we are going to use it is just to give suggestions, right? To give advice. Para eso lo vamos a utilizar. No es que este para porque eh, eh, está inmediato la situación o este es porque la situación es más importante, menos importante. Eh, probablemente hay alguna medida o significado o, o the, the intention is different, pero lo vamos a usar solo para dar este um, advice, para dar eh, consejos, ¿ok? Should, ought to, or had better, right? Aquí están siendo como más específicos ciertas características, pero normally we use it just to sugerir eso. Es como decir, eh, en español, usted debería de hacer esto, o más le vale hacer esto, ¿verdad? Más le vale que vaya al doctor, o debería ir al doctor. So, if there is no like a big difference because I'm just giving my opinion and I'm just giving you like some advice. So I don't know if that's, that answers your questions or. Uh, but uh, when we can use should or have better, um, uh, is it in the, in the same case or mm -hmm. in different case? In the same case, for example, if, uh, if you tell me uh, I am sick, I have a headache, and I can tell you, you should take medicine, right? You should take, you should go to the doctor, right? I can tell you also, you better go to the doctor. It's the same. Ah, the same okay. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Now, tomorrow you are going to use that. You are going to practice, right? Because you need to practice the model. So tomorrow you can talk about a trip you recommend or you wouldn't, right? It depends on you. Mañana van a, van a dar una presentación de un lugar que ustedes recomienden ir. Van a recomendar qué hacer en ese lugar, qué llevar, si llevo suéter, si no llevo suéter, si llevo comida, si llevo dinero, si me van a invitar. Ustedes me van a decir. ¿verdad? Y van a utilizar los modos should, should not, need to, have to, had better, eh, all of the models that we studied. So tomorrow you can prepare, uh, if you have time, it's not an obligation because I know that you're kind of busy. Yo sé que están ocupados. Um, if you have time, you can prepare also pictures, right? Presentations that pueden compartir en su pantalla y pueden presentar. Las pueden poner imágenes o oh, no sé. I don't know, right? Eh, si ustedes ya han ido, pueden poner fotos suyas también, ¿verdad? Pero if you don't have time, si no tienen tiempo durante el día because I know you are busy, with the explanation is enough. Solo con explicación que digan, you should go to the beach. You, you should go to Costa del Sol because it's, it's beautiful. You can eat. You can take a shower there. Con solo eso está bien. Teacher, what is the meaning of how to in, in Spanish? Okay, we have an, a question here. It says, what is the meaning of how to? It's similar, right? It's similar to should, right? Debería. It's similar. You ought to. You ought to do that or you should that. You should do this. You should do that. Es como debería, ¿verdad? You ought to do this. Es similar. I'm going to check it just to make sure. So. But actually it's um, debería, yeah. You ought to. Or you uh, ought, ought not, right? You are not to do this. No debería. It's, it's similar. So it's debería. Questions about the activity for tomorrow? Preguntas para la actividad de mañana? 
teacher. It's clear. It's clear. Okay, very good. Mercy, are you there, Mercy? Or are you sleeping already? Mercy, are you there? Yes. Okay, can you explain to me what are we going to do tomorrow? Um, um, I am in, in my, my cell phone teacher. Okay, yeah. no problem. <laughs> so you don't, you don't know what we're going okay. to do tomorrow. Sorry. I am going to, to the, uh, the seminar. I am, I am going to the seminar because I must to learning the methodology different in my work. Okay, very good. But for homework, okay, for homework, what, what are we going to do for tomorrow in the class as a homework? ¿Qué vamos a hacer mañana de tarea, Mercy? Um, make the exercise and when I use um, mouse, sure, mm -hmm. and the other work. Exactly, work. exactly. You're going to <laughs> use the models and you're going to present, a, a make a presentation. Van a hacer una presentación and you are going to present a, a place. You will recommend a place, right, to visit. It's okay, teacher. Okay, the, no, no problem, Mercy. No problem. I know that you're kind of busy, and no problem. Probably you're chatting with your patients, right? Or I don't know, but it's okay. You, I just want to make sure. Solo quería asegurarme que todos supieran que vamos a hacer mañana. Pero uh, it's okay, no problem. Now we are going to continue with more activities. We have two practices. Oh. Um, first of all, I I just wanted to check if you if you. What time is it? Yes, I guess we have time. We have enough time. Vamos a hacer una práctica, a writing practice. So just let me delete some things here. Okay, we are going to use our recommendations right now. And I will tell you like a situation and you will let me know a very good recommendation for that situation, right? Yo les voy a decir una situación y ustedes me van a escribir la solución, lo que me recomiendan. Yes. Now you will use the Padlet, right? The Padlet to write. Click in the link that I sent you to the in the chat and you will get here, right? Van a Van a, va a aparecer esta pantalla en su computadora o en su celular. And you click here. If you don't remember how to use it, you click here. And then you write the thing that you want to publish, right? Y lo publican. Now I will tell you a problem and you will give me recommendations. For example, let's say that I, I am coming for, for, from another country. Okay? I'm coming from another country and I want to visit El Salvador, what would be a very good recommendation for you? What would you recommend me? Digamos que yo vengo de otro país y voy a ir a El Salvador. ¿Qué recomendación? ¿Qué tengo que hacer para venir a El Salvador? Write good recommendations, please. For example, I need to bring cash. I need to bring a swimsuit. I need to... What should I do? It's necessary teacher when i when i stay in the El salvador mm -hmm. on travel mm -hmm. uh, it's necessary to take uh, two vaccine in covid <laughs> yes it's needed to get vaccination if i if i come to el salvador do i need to get vaccinated or no it's not necessary it's necessary it's necessary right yes almost two you, um, yes, two, right? At least two vaccines for COVID. Very good. And mm -hmm. what else? What else do I need to do to come to El Salvador? Is it is it dangerous, El Salvador, or is not dangerous? Yeah, it's dangerous. <laughs> yes, it's dangerous. Yeah. So what, what should I do if I don't want to get into trouble? Should, be, uh, should be accompanied by someone. Ah, very good. You should be 
accompanied by someone, you should have a company like a, a partner, right? Or a friend, right? I should travel. Care. Or yeah. I should I, I, I can get a tour, right? A tour. Do you know tours? Like for example, when when Jaime went to Guatemala, he took a tour. Yes, Gabriela. Uh, um, you should not use your cell phone in the bus. <laughs> ah, you should not use your cell phone in the bus. That's a very good recommendation. Very good recommendation. Uh, what happens if I use my cell phone? It disappears, right? Or no? Yes. Yes, right. Probably. Probably. We don't know. What else? What is another good recommendation for people? Yes, Tatiana. I think that if you come to El Salvador, uh -huh. um, you should eat delicious pupusas in yes. the renderos. Planes de friend. renderos. Okay, so family. with your family. So if someone comes to El Salvador, they should eat pupusas. That's a yeah. must, right? You must, you must eat pupusas. <laughs> yes, you must. You have to, you need to. You need to, you have to, exactly. That's a, an obligation. Very yeah. good. It says you should be accompanied, accompanied by someone. Exactly, Noe. So you have to uh, go to Plans de Renderos. Uh, what else? What else can I do in El Salvador? What else? ¿Qué más puedo hacer aquí en El Salvador? You should, you should visit the beaches of La Libertad. Very good. You should visit the beaches at Libertad. Uh, Cara de Alegría says the same also. You should visit, visit the beaches. Very good. And what else, what, what else should I eat or what other place can I visit in El Salvador? What else should I go? Algo más, alguien más? You can write it here. También lo pueden escribir aquí si no lo quieren decir, ¿verdad? If you don't want to participate like speaking, you can write it here, no problem. It says here, you should visit Lake Santa Ana. What is the name of the lake in Santa Ana? Lago. Yeah, what, what, what is the name? Quarepeque Lake, right? Quarepeque Lake, exactly. You should go to Quarepeque Lake. You should visit Chalatenango City. Why? Why should I visit Chalatenango? Why, 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 should, I, why should I visit there? Why, why should I see? What will I see there? Que voy a ver ahí en Chalatenango. The the forest and the the, forest. the I I don't know the uh, I I don't remember the name teacher <laughs> the Pital. Ah, the Pital. We visit Chalatenango City at the Pital because the the uh, the place is beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> okay, so uh, Chalatenango, I can visit the Pital. Place is a very, very beautiful place. And also it says here, you should visit El Boquerón. You should visit El Boquerón. Is it a good place, El Boquerón, or no? It's good, it's good. Also it said, uh, you should visit Laberinto de Albania and drink delicious coffee. Yes, we have delicious coffee also. We have some places they have del very delicious coffee. I or like coffee. You should visit uh, Salcuatitan. Salcuatitan. And wh what is there? To I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. But I should visit Salcuatitan, right? Yeah, I uh, I visited uh, Salcuatitan with my husband mm -hmm. two years ago. And we ate, I don't know how do you say yuca. Fried yuca. Uh huh. Fried yuca, yeah, Fried yuca. And then we visit uh, Laberinto de Albania. Oh yes, that's a, a big labyrinth, right? Yes. Yes, very good. Yeah, that's that's good. That's a very good recommendation. It says you should enjoy the high altitude climate in Chalatenango. Yes, right. That's a very good recommendation and drink a lot of coffee. Very good, very good. Now uh, we are going to continue with the next. Uh, thank you for your recommendations, you see? So now we are learning how to give recommendations, right? Let me see here. You must visit the Ilopango Lake. It is beautiful and you can eat cocktails and fish. 
Yes, I think that um, everybody should visit Ilopango Lake. Very good. Now we are going to continue with the next exercise. Let me see here. I guess it's an audio practice. I have a, a video for you. So we are going to listen to a video. And first of all, we are going to present the activity. Let me see here. Let me close it off here. And this is the listening practice. It will be really fast, va a ser rápido. No es tan larga. It says listening practice. So we, since we are talking about different places, the forest, the beach, the lakes, um, we are going to see, a, to, we are going to watch a video. It says watch the video and answer the following questions. What is the family going to do? Where are they? ¿Qué van a hacer esa familia que va a ir? ¿Dónde están? What are the activities they did? What did the son do? What did the father, father wanted to want to do? What was the daughter collecting? Okay. What did the father want to do? Okay, so very good. Now we are going to watch the video. And let me see, I guess I did it incorrectly. Tengo que volverlo a hacer para que puedan escuchar. Okay. Now, let me know if you listen to the video, okay? Dígame en el video. Can you listen to the music? Yes, I yes. Listen. yes. Sure. Okay, okay, very good. Now we are going to practice our listening, okay? I'll keep an eye on them. You've had a hard week. Why don't you grab a chair and your book and take it easy? I'll get things set up. No, it's fine. Maybe I can help Lisa with the tent. You can go fishing with Ben. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. No fishing until camp is set up. Ben? Yeah? Ben, honey, you have to help your sister and father set up the tent. Then you can go fishing, OK? Aw, oh, Mom! Ben? Okay, but for how long? Not long at all. And after? If everyone's nice, we can roast marshmallows over the fire. All right! Can we go fishing now? Ben, don't you think you should get your sleeping bag out and get yourself set up in there? I mean, you ought to think about tonight. Plan ahead. There won't be much light later. I guess you're right. Come on, Ben, I'll help. Ed, you don't have to. Ben can do it himself. I don't mind. Besides, I'll probably fall asleep in there, and that would be a good thing. <laughs> Mom, look! Oh, what a beautiful leaf! What are you going to do with it? I don't know yet. Maybe I'll make something in art class. Great <laughs> idea. Or I'll draw a face on it and hang it on my door. Nice. No, I'll probably just leave it like it is forever. Oh, honey, leaves don't last forever. They dry up. But you can do this. Here, watch me. There. That should keep it in good shape for a while. OK. Why don't you go collect some more leaves? All right. I guess I'm not reading a book. Honey, you don't have to read right away. As soon as you and Ben are done in there, you two can go fishing. Ben, how much longer are you going to be in there? Ben. Ben. He's not in there. Where'd he go? Ben! Gone fishing! Don't be too long. Remember, 
We've got marshmallows to roast. Oh, I love roasted marshmallows. Uh -huh. And after that, you can read books all you want. Books? I'm not going to waste my time reading books when I have fish to catch, leaves to collect, and marshmallows to roast. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Okay, were you able to catch the main message there? Did you have any problem listening to them? No, right? Everything was clear. A very new video. Okay, now we are going to answer the questions, okay? Okay, what is the family doing? Where are they? Don't understand. Where were they? They are camping. They in the forest. They, they went camping. They were in the forest. They were in the lake. And what activities uh, they did? What were they planning to do? What were you able to listen to? Go what fishing. Activities? Go fishing. What else? Rose Reading books. Marshmallows. Reading books. Rose, rose, mar rose marshmallows. Okay. Yes. What else? Collect leaves. Collect Stay leaves. The fire. <laughs> Yes, they are on the fire and also uh, set up the tent, right? Poner la tienda, set up the tent. Very good. And what did the father want to do? ¿Qué quería hacer el papá? He wanted to read a book. He wanted to read a book. Very good. And what was the daughter, the daughter collecting? Leaf. The the leaves. 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 A, a bunch of leaves, right? A lot of leaves. Okay, very good. Very good. So we won't have any problem, right? Roast marshmallows, very good. Now, uh, to finish, we are going to have a competition, okay? Uh, since we are not able to do like teams right now, we are going to separate you into two teams. Vamos a separarlos en dos equipos, los que tienen foto y los que tienen la cámara encendida y los que no tienen foto y no tienen la cámara encendida, okay? So we are going to check the vocabulary because we have a lot of vocabulary, right? And also new vocabulary. We are going to have like a, a little quiz. And let's see what is the, the, the person who wins more points or the group who wins more points. So you just need to pay attention and we're going to, to practice. This is vocabulary, okay? This is para el vocabulario. Let me see here. Creo que aquí lo voy a compartir de nuevo. Okay. Now we're ready. I'm going to share my screen right now. Just let me know if you are able to see it. Can you see it now? Yes. Yes, yes right. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Now we are going to guess the word, right? For example, this is the meaning of the word and you need to guess the word. The first one says, time off from school and work. What is the word? Vacations. Let me see, vacation. Vacation, very good, Tatiana. So you have one point for your team. Very good, next one. To take a trip. What is the word to take a trip? Travel. Let's see, travel. Travel, very good. You have a point for your trip, very good. Let's see, so that's what we are going to keep doing, right? Next one, the act of traveling. What is the act of traveling? Journey, no, I don't know. <laughs> Journey, let's see. Camping. Trip. trip, trip, right, trip. Next one, to remain somewhere. To remain somewhere. Checking, no sé. No. Stay, right, quedarse en algún lugar. Stay, right, very good. Next one, future verb phrase for fixed plans. Future verb phrase. 
for fixed plans? Going have, to? Let me see. Going to, very good. It's afraid, very good. Next one. Model auxiliary for future plans, especially when there is no doubt or a sense of volition, promise. Will. Will, Will. Will. very good, Will. Will. Next one. All of the bags you use for transporting clothes and other things when traveling. Suitcase. Luggage. 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 Suitcase is just one one. Luggage is all of it. Next one. The card you use at the bank's machine to deposit money, withdraw cash, or check your balances. ATM card. ATM card. Very good. You know, <laughs> Tatiana, very good. Mm -hmm. Next one. A large bag used to carry things on your back. You especially... Backpack. Backpack. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> Next one. What happened with the rest? What happened with the rest, people? A small case or bag that you take onto a plane with you. Carry bag. Which one? Carry bag. Carry on bag. Very good. Carry on bag. Next one. Collection of supplies and equipment for use in case of health emergencies. Eso lo estudiamos hoy al principio. First aid kit. First aid kit. Very good. First aid kit. Very good. Next one. Shoes for being in nature. Boots. 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 Hiking boots. Uh -huh. Yeah, very good. Yes, we can accept it. Very good. Next one. Pills you take to stay healthy. Medication. Medication, very good. <laughs> very good. You have all the answers. Next one, a card with your name and picture that you get from your school. ID. The college sense. Uh-huh. Yes, like student ID, right? Student yes, ID. Yeah. Very good. Next one. A bag for carrying clothes when traveling. Part of your luggage. Okay. Suitcase, very good. That one is the suitcase. This one is the suitcase, very good. Next one. Clothes you wear at the beach or pool. Swimsuit. Swimsuit, yes, exactly. Swimsuit, very good. An injection you get to keep you healthy. An injection. An injection you, you get to keep you healthy. What is the answer? Bashing, no. I don't mm -hmm. know how to say vaccine, no. Vaccination, <laughs> right? Vaccination. Vaccine, no. Vaccination. <laughs> Vaccination. Very good. Very good. Next one. Something that is not familiar or from another country. Foreign. 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 Very good. Foreign. Next one. Model auxiliary verb for requirement. Or obligation. You must. 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 Very good. Must. must. Very good. Next one. Obligation. To have to. To have the necessity of doing something. Nobody? Sure. To need to. You need to. You need to, right? You need necessity, right? Necessity. Next one. Model phrase for requirement. Sure. Model phrase for requirement. Cool. Okay. Let's see, could. To have to. You have to do this. You have to do that. Right. Next one. Model phrase for advice. Similar to should. Could. Out. 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 Let's see. Out. To. Very good. Out. To. Next one. Model phrase. For strong advice between should and must. Have Which one? Have to? Had better. Had better, right? It's like for a strong advice, but it's an advice also, right? 
model auxiliary for advice. It is a good idea to. That is the meaning of this model. It is a good idea. Should. 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 Very good. Should. Next one. Now we we'll start with the models, okay? Next one is to work without being paid, especially for a cost you believe in. Voluntary. Volunteer, very good, to volunteer, very good. Next one, to book a room or a table in advance so that it is waiting for you. Reservation. Reservation, very good, reservation. Next one, to put things in a suitcase. Look. Which one? To put things in a suitcase is? Look. Packing. Back. Packing. Very good. Packing. Very good. Let's see. We almost finished. Okay. We almost finished. A state in which you are not in danger. Safety. 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 Very good. Very good. Next one. Oops. Uh, a journey made for pleasure, especially as a holiday. Visiting several different places in an area. What is that? Tour. Tour. Very good. It's a tour. Very good. Next one. <laughs> Not separable phrasal verb meaning to eat in a restaurant. Es un phrasal verb que son dos palabras. Significa comer en un restaurante. You give up? Which one? No. 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 Okay. No idea. Hot. Okay. Let's see. The answer is to eat out. Comer afuera, right? To eat out. Next one. The sport of riding on a wave on a special board. Surfing. Surfing. Very good. Surfing. An organized set of special events, such as musical performances. Concert. 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 Feria. 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 <laughs> is a festival, right? Yeah. Festival. <laughs> Very good. And let me see. The act of staying in a tent in nature. What Camping. is this? Camping. 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 Very good. Next one. To travel or transport something on a flat floating structure usually made of wood or rubber. What is this? What are they doing? Mm. What is this called? ¿Cómo se le llaman lo que están haciendo a ellos ahí? You have heard it before. No idea? No idea. Rápidos. Rápidos, exactly. En, en, en los rápidos, ¿qué hace uno? Rapids, your raft, right? Rafting. 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 And the last one, el que adivine se lleva todos los puntos. <laughs> el gol del gato. Yeah. Or a device that a device that produces a very bright light or color smoke that can be used as a signal. S -S -O -S. S -O -S. <laughs> Eso es. Eso es. Eso es. Eso es. Let's see. Rafting. A flare, <laughs> una bengala, right? A flare, it's a flare. Very good, very good, people. You see, we learn a lot of vocabulary, you see? So uh, you did it very well. Remember what we are going to do tomorrow? ¿Qué vamos a hacer mañana? A speech. A speech, a presentation, right? a presentation about a trip, a place that you will recommend to your classmates. So prepare for tomorrow. I don't have, if you have any question right now, any doubt. Preguntas acerca de los modos, acerca del vocabulario, questions. Teacher, uh, we will answer the two questions. Which ones? Uh, for the homework for tomorrow. Yeah, for tomorrow, remember, it's a presentation. That is the homework. Mañana vamos a hacer presentaciones. A presentation about what? A trip that you recommend to your classmates or something that you don't recommend. For example, uh, in my presentation, I can talk about 
uh, Cerro Verde, right? Cerro Verde in Santa Ana. So I recommend Cerro Verde because it's a beautiful place. Uh, you should take a sweater with you because it's cold. But if you climb the mountain, the Cerro Verde, you have to use hiking boots. So you need, you need hiking oh, okay. boots and you can climb and it's a beautiful view if you climb. So you explain, usted va a explicar todo lo que se puede hacer en ese lugar. O sea, va a usar bastante vocabulario. Okay, teacher. Okay, Gracias. that Thank is you. the present. Tomorrow, please try to participate and because it's the last class and I just want you to check if you're speaking and practice and talking and using all the vocabulary, okay? Okay, okay. very good. So if you don't have any questions, I hope you have a very nice night. Thank you for your effort and I will see you tomorrow in the last class, okay? okay. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye. Have a nice night. Bye. Have a nice night. Hi, good evening. Bye.